comprehend music because of our brain, but there is no way for us to know exactly how we listen to music. Using fMRI scans, we can see which parts of the brain are stimulated during different activities, such as remembering something, or moving your finger, or listening to music. fMRI scans are a non-invasive procedure which scans your brain. The fMRI can send blood flow through your brain with very strong magnets. The MRI was invented before the fMRI and can take an image of where most of the hydrogen atoms are which can show what tissue could be missing or diseased and where different types of tissue are. What was it you wanted to see me about? Well, um, I'm going to have um, an fMRI scan in a few weeks and I want to know um, the dangers and how um, what an F fMRI is. Okay, an understandable concern. Uh, first off, I just want to say that unless you have any metal jewelry or implants, having an fMRI scan is completely safe because it doesn't emit any harmful rays. Um, so what exactly is an fMRI? Well, to, to know what an fMRI is, first you need to know what an MRI is. Am I right to assume you don't know what it is? I've heard of it, but I... Okay, okay. So, first off, tissue is the main ingredient that your body is made of. It connects all your organs to your flesh so that they don't bounce around inside. Now, con tissue has a lot of water. It's the reason we're 70% water. Now, there are different kinds of tissue, and each one has a different concentration of water. The MRI measures this. The way that an MRI scan works is that there are very powerful electromagnets inside the machine. When activated, they cause the hydrogen nuclei in the water in your body to flip their orientation towards the electromagnet. Each nucleus has its own magnetic, magnetic attraction towards the electromagnet. When all nuclei face the same direction, their combined attraction becomes strong enough for the ma machine to scan and create an image. Different kinds of tissue in your body have different levels of H2O, so the MRI can distinguish between tissue. It can also determine if there is an injury or if there are pieces of tissue missing. Is that for you? Yeah, I've got an idea of what fMRIs do, but what's the difference between fMRIs and MRIs? Well, what an fMRI does that an MRI doesn't is that an fMRI measures the blood flow in your brain. And so it shows what parts of the brain are active when certain things happen. fMRIs are MRIs, but they also have an added function. It was discovered that oxygenated blood reacts differently to magnetic forces than unoxygenated blood. Using this discovery, it was implemented into MRI scans to measure brain activity by laying the blood flow over the actual MRI image. The main use for fMRI scans is to find out what areas of the brain are stimulated when cer certain senses are stimulated, or when the patient is told to recall some past memory and such. With this technology, scientists have found out a lot more about what areas of the brain do what, and how memories work. Okay, so now that you know what an fMRI is and does, do you still have any lingering questions? Yes, earlier you mentioned that I um, shouldn't wear any metal implants, but why so? Well, because there are very powerful m magnets inside these uh, machines, having metal parts on your body can be quite dangerous because they can heat up or move about. But if you don't wear or have any metal parts on you, then it is completely safe because, of the, as I said earlier, there are no harmful rays. How much does the procedure cost? fMRI scans are extremely expensive for the user as well as the machine itself. There are two reasons to have a functional magnetic resonance imaging. If you have a brain disease or to help scientists and medical researchers. If you have a brain disease, getting an fMRI can cost up to $550 an hour. But for people just wanting to help the science community, getting an fMRI is completely free. The machine itself costs a lot more though. The minimum for an fMRI machine is about 2 million and about max 4 million. The Tesla 3 fMRI machine is the top of the line and the newest model, and cost four and a half million. We do not know much about how the brain works. With an fMRI machine, we can get further research on how we think and how neurons in our brain work. The good thing about the fMRI is that you do not use any radiation like x-rays and computed tomography. Radiation can damage your cells and it can lead to headaches and sickness. If you get a high level of radiation, it can also kill you by damaging your internal organs. 
If you use an fMRI machine correctly, there's, there aren't any safety problems. More than 800 papers are published each year about the fMRI and its application. You can use fMRI easily, and the images that fMRI produce have a very high resolution. This solves the problem facing our society, because with this, medical researchers are furthering their knowledge on our brains, which can lead to many new inventions, both good and bad. By knowing how our brain works, scientists could probably make people think things by tweaking our neurons and senses, which could have good and bad implications. MRI is very expensive, and the person needs to stay still to get a clear image. Lastly, researchers still do not know exactly how it works. The fMRI can only know the blood flow in the brain, so it can't show the activities of the neurons in your brain. Thousands of individual neurons make up each area of brain studies in the fMRI. The parts that light up in the fMRI can represent different functions, and you cannot tell which brain activity is being represented. Alright, thank you for talking to me. Okay, well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Uh, do take your time. This shouldn't be rushed.